Hey guys, so I just made a graduation money slash candy lay. My cousin's graduating tomorrow, so I thought maybe you guys have winter graduations to go to also. So this is how I made mine. So I have about 30 bucks here. I ended up with 33 somehow. I think my mom just tossed in a few bucks. Um, I have chocolates. You can use whatever candy. And this little Donald Duck Zoom Zoom is so cute. And then um, ribbon I have at home, scissors, and uh, jewelry wire you can use for like beads and stuff. Okay, so for the flower that you're going to make, take the dollar and you're going to fold in the edge where the beginning of one, like the word one, starts. And then you'll flip it around and you'll fold in um, where that circle is, where that L was, just outside of that, or the end of that. And you're going to fold it like a hot dog. Make sure you like crease it well and then you'll fold in the corners of each side. And then here I'm about to fold in the like the top and bottom of the dollar. Um, only halfway. Don't fold it all the way that it covers his face. I ended up using like his forehead and his chin to tell where to stop. So I'm just cutting the wire here, making sure it's long enough to wrap around the dollar once it's folded in half like a hot dog. And then I made sure I had extra slack because I'm going to have to wrap that onto the lay itself. So I just gathered three of the dollars and lining them up here and then I'm going to take the wire, I'm going to fold it in half like from top to bottom and then I'm going to twist it at the bottom and make sure it's really tight. Now I'm just opening and fanning out the dollars so they look like petals and just kind of spreading them out so they actually look like a flower. So I'm just cutting my ribbon here, just kind of preparing them so I won't have to cut them like each time I do it. And I ended up grabbing another set of ribbon. It's just a lighter blue. I thought it'd be nice to alternate those two. Pretty much what I'm doing, I'm tying off like a bow to start at the top and then inserting the chocolates into the cellophane. And then I kind of just twist it twist the cellophane and then tie another bow to lock that in. So while I was shopping I found this little Tsum Tsum. I thought it would be really cute and it matches the bows but you can honestly put anything in here. My cousin made me plenty of lace before and he just put cute little random things usually from Daiso I bet but yeah you can just make it your own. Luckily, I had two candies left. My auntie ate all the Snickers. That was the only Snicker I had left. I'm so sad. Anyway, I'm just using those last two pieces of chocolates to connect the open ends 
Um, at first I was going to use ribbon, like I was just going to tie it to lock it in place, but I was scared that it would like slide out. So I used tape and I made sure I wrapped the cellophane tightly and the tape worked out just fine. Now I'm just connecting the two ends together. I ended up taking off both of the ribbons and then I twisted the two ends and then now I'm putting the ribbon back on. I'm going to use both of them just so I know they're extra tight. So this was my favorite part, finally attaching the flowers onto the way. So I just placed the flower on top of the lay, held the lay upside down, and twisted the wire together. And then I just wrapped it around the lay itself so it wouldn't be poking. So here it is, I'm all done. It was really fun and easy to do and affordable unless you plan on using like 50 or $100 bills. But yep, that's it. I hope you guys liked it. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in a little bit.